I've been a throw up the sex in a YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Alexis if you don't already know and today I'm going to be filming a video that I've been wanting to make for a really really long time and I've honestly filmed it twice and deleted it both times. It just didn't turn out the way I wanted it. So today I'm going to be making a video on how to budget. This is my favorite thing to do. I am a life coach and this is what I actually teach my clients and I really hope it helps the next person. In this life of uncertainty, in this pandemic, people losing jobs, people starting to work from home, people not even working at all, people trying to start uh, their own business, just different things like that. You need to know how to manage your money and how to save it. Basically, like you need to know how to be a good steward over your money. So that's what I'm going to be teaching in this video and I hope it helps. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. This video helps you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. All right guys, so here we are for the sake of this video not being too long. I went ahead and jotted down the bills already. Basically like what you really want to do and what I really want to hit on is you have to write down everything to a T. You have to write down every single bill and these bills um, that I actually wrote down are from the movie Identity Theft. I seen that he was um, budgeting and they were actually like, you know, um, in the in the movie, they actually only had like a little amount of money left and they were trying to make ends meet. And so I was just like, OK, let me try to like, you know, use their bills as an example for my YouTube video. So this is actually um, what was in the movie Identity Theft and they were budgeting with this. So obviously you see right here that he has his rent down, electric, his water, his gas, his groceries, his gas card, his cell phone or their cell phone, possibly him and his wife, um, the landline, the internet, the dry cleaning, the car insurance, the health insurance, um, the restaurants when they eat out, and then the uh, car services, entertainment, the kids activities, the school uh, related information, the school related bills and also for the pet and so i'm going to assume that this is per month so this is all your bills per month so what you want to do when you're when you sit down and budget with yourself is you want to write down everything to the t that you pay for in a month so you know toiletries you know uh, gas whatever the case may be make sure that you write it down this left hand column i love doing this method and i actually love putting it in a binder um i have my gold binder up under here i love putting it in a binder or i like um putting it on a you know um a spiral notebook so what you want to do um and what i've done already basically is you want to uh, take everything that you have and you also um what they didn't do in the movie but you also want to put when it's due. So your rent is usually due on the first. And then, um, so let's say your electric is due on the sixth. Let's say your water is due on the eighth. Just so on and so forth. You get it, right? And so what you want to do after you budget is like, so people find budgeting hard, but honestly, it's simple addition and subtraction. So what you do is you take all of your bills, all of your expenses, you simply add them up and obviously get this total. So let's say this man is making, um, we're not going to use his salary in the movie, but let's say this person is making $4,000 a month. What you want to do is pull out your calculator on your phone, simple as pie, and subtract $4,000 from the $3,560 nine dollars and you're going to get your total so uh back up to here like i said you're going to do that all the way down you don't have to do it in this format you can order it however you want but make sure your bills and everything that you're paying for is on the side you can honestly put this right here and that right there it doesn't really matter so the first of the month comes it's um april the first and it's time to pay your bills so i like to set up my bills especially um if you're the type of person who you're always late on your bills and stuff like that, if you have a day job that can afford all of your expenses, I would personally set up your things, your bills on auto pay. I personally have all my bills on auto pay, auto pay because I know that the money is going to be there to um, 
be withdrawn and it's going to be withdrawn on time. And I like for my bills to be paid on time. If I don't pay my electric bill, somebody's going to be sitting in the dark. So you just want to try, like if you have the money and the means to have it there already, go ahead and put your stuff on auto pay so that it can make your life easier and you don't have to worry about it every single day. So for instance, this dude, um, for his kids activities, let's say he has to send a hundred dollars to, uh, to in cash to his, to his kid at school, obviously he would send it in cash. So you can't auto pay stuff like that. Your dry cleaning, you might have to go ahead and pay that in cash or even with your card. So anyway, so back to this, what you wanna do is you want to, when the first of the month comes, you want to go through and you want to check it off. So let's say the rent is due on the first and your dry cleaning, you get it done on the first so you can be ready for your work month. Those two things are due on the first, so you check them off. Um, what I like to do is I also like to make more columns. So let's say this is April, May, June. So we're on April, May, and June. So I go through, it's the first of the month it comes, I check it off. Boom, these two things were due. They're on auto pay, so those got knocked out. Then the six comes. Boom, it's done. So that's how I do my bills. And then for my gas, I know it's kind of particular, but what I do is I divide that into four sections because I fill up once a week. I fill up my tank personally once a week. So what I would do is obviously he puts about, I'm not sure why uh, he has his gas so cheap, like, you know, that's lit or whatever. But um, basically, like, uh, let's say I'm putting $10 in a week. I know that's super cheap or whatever, but let's say I'm putting $10 in a week. So what I would do is I would go to the gas pump. I would put my $10 in for that week, and I would check it off. Then the following week will come, boom. And so that's how you want to do things that come quarterly in within one month because in a month, you have four weeks. So that's kind of how I do that. And so then... Like I said, you want to go down here. This is your check. This is what you're bringing in a month. Your two checks. So let's say per check, let's say you get paid bi-weekly. Per check, you get paid $2,000. So $2,000 plus $2,000 is obviously $4,000. So like I said, we're going to bring out our calculator. And what you're going to do is you're going to take the $4,000. Sorry, my phone is so filthy. You're going to take the $4,000 and take away $3,000. 569.00 and you're left with $431. So down here, I like to do 431 like that. That's what you're left with at the end of the month. So when people overspend, you, you're not really seeing, you're not really paying attention to your bills and you're basically overspending because you think you have $5,000 in the bank, but really you only have $431 left at the end of every single month after all your bills are paid. So you have to kind of be strategic and particular about where your money is going so that you can get your bills paid and go from there. That, that's basically what I do like that, honestly, is a sum up of how I personally do my bills. Like my bills are already in here. But that's how I do my bills. So now you have $431 left um, in your bank. So what do you want to do with that? Do you want to invest? Do you have to invest in yourself? Do you want to pick up another job? Let's say that was in the negatives. Let's say you were overspending $431. How can you make, make more money to be able to sustain the lifestyle that you want to live? If this was in the negatives instead of the positive, how can I find a way to make $431. Do I pick up another job? Um, uh, online business, do I start selling something? Do I start um, a, a hobby that can make me money? Whatever the case may be, so that you don't have to continue living paycheck, paycheck to paycheck. I hope this helps you guys. I've been wanting to make this video for so long um, and I just hope this helps you. All right, guys, that wraps up this video. I hope this video helps you guys. I really, like I said, I really wanted to make this video for a really long time because I know that it can help people. And I know that other videos on YouTube aren't really in depth as I am or, you know, just have different methods and stuff like that. So I hope that my method works. If you have any questions or anything like that, please feel free to DM me on Instagram at full underscore throttle. 
uh, with four E's at the end. Um, I'll leave it in the description box. Or if you just simply have any questions, don't feel free to either comment under this post, DM me on Instagram, whatever the case may be, because I'm here to help. Also, go check out my website, www.lifecoachalexislewis.com. This is what I do. I actually help people um, set their goals and achieve them. I help you achieve your goals really, really fast. Like, if you procrastinate on your goals, if you're putting your dreams on hold, I can help you get to where you want to be. Help people practice self-development. So that looks like, you know, if you're selfish, if you're, if you're insecure, whatever the case may be, I help you uh, find ways to, to work on those things. And then lastly, I help you help you learn how to budget and save your money. A snippet of it was in this video. So that wraps up this video. Thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Go check out my other video. In one of my videos, I actually show you guys how to make money on social media. So it's lit. So go check out those videos and I will see you guys in the next one.